Viva tie viva. Pambil tie pambil. Democrats, I am so excited to address you one final time today and to really set out my vision for what I believe could make the Democratic Alliance kind, strong and fair in a way that would also help us to show South Africans that we are ready to take the Democratic Alliance to being a majority government in this country. I ran my campaign showing that what I want for this party is for everybody to feel included in all our decision-making and the way that the party is able to negotiate our shared values. I don't think that disagreement or seeing things differently is a bad thing. The idea of diversity as part of our principles is the one that should be cherished the most as a democratic alliance. And I want to move our party into a place where everybody feels that they have equal ability to be able to say where they believe the Democratic Alliance should be going and how we should be talking to voters on the ground. Because we only exist to try and win votes to show people what the Democratic Alliance could do. And so I believe that the best things about us is that we have good people. So many of us work so incredibly hard for this party, devoting our time and our energy away from families because we know that the cause that we are fighting for is the one that will make sure that all South Africans are able to live a prosperous life. We have great governance where we've been able to show citizens that they need to lend us their votes. And I want us as a party to really leverage that to being what we decide to do going forward everywhere. Let's show people what the Democratic Alliance is. Let's show them who we all really are. And as your leader, it's why I've said, for councillors, I want us to help empower them with resources, training, equipment, whatever it is that they need to build the kinds of profiles and the brands that can really show South Africans at the core face of our politics that the Democratic Alliance is serious about being with them every single place. As your leader, I want us to reinvigorate the imagination of what South African politics would be like. And it's why I've said that we need a new way of politics, a way that shows that we are serious about taking this government that has had impunity and looting and corruption out of office, and that we will make South Africans work by professionalizing our public service, by making sure that every single person is able to have a future where they have dignity and can really find their purpose in the world. I want us to speak to young people. I want us to use day and dawn in our serious structures to speak to those particular markets. But we've got to make sure that there are resources and are able to do that job. I want us to be able, when we speak about our branch delegates, to know that branches are empowered, have the money and the resources to really be the soldiers on the ground for this party. I've been in this party for 14 years. I know what it takes to be in different communities. I've worked in rural communities, villages, townships, and in suburbia. And I believe as a democratic alliance, we need to tap into every single type of person in this party and every single type of person in South Africa and show them that they can belong to the democratic alliance, that we will fight for them, that we will never scapegoat them, that we will make sure that they have a future in this country. If we can do this, if we can excite South Africans behind us again, despite what happened last year, we will make sure that people in this country are able to look at us differently. I'm asking as your leader for you to give me the opportunity to show you that I'll be in every community doing that. And I know that it's been hard and I know it's been tough, but we can't stop because we're tired. We will only stop when we are done and we have achieved a kind and strong and fair society for all.